Welcome to Phoenix Analysis and Design Technologies, where we make innovation work through simulation, product development, and rapid prototyping. As an ANSYS channel partner, we sell and support products from ANSYS Inc. in the Four Corner States and Nevada. In addition, we provide consulting and training in ANSYS tools worldwide. These tools provide simulation capabilities in fluid dynamics, structural mechanics, electromagnetics, as well as systems and multiphysics applications. Hey guys, this is Manoj with PADT. In today's focus video blog, I'm going to show you some of the new section plane capabilities using ANSYS 14.5. Now, I'm sure a lot of us are familiar with the way section planes have usually been done in ANSYS Mechanical, for example. Essentially, you would orient your part the way you'd like, come up here to the sections plane window, create the new section plane by freehand drawing a line. Now, just as a refresher, once you've drawn that line, you can come in, go ahead and click on the section plane down below, click on Edit, and now you're given a couple different options here. You can simply use the Solid button to drag the section plane back and forth. You can click on the Solid line to such that the results will only occur on that section plane itself. Or you can simply click on the other dotted line to flip the direction of the section cut. So that's all pretty straightforward. However, the problem is, is that you're freehand drawing it. What if you're interested in some specific feature? Maybe you want a section plane to be in a particular angle, etc. How would you do that without having to freehand draw it? Well, ANSYS 14.5 offers you the ability to use coordinate systems to create section planes. So first I'm going to go ahead and delete this section plane here to go back to the original view. Now what I can do is I can come here to my coordinate system menu create a coordinate system. Now let's say I'm interested in a section view at the center of this bolt. I can simply apply my geometry to create the coordinate system and now that coordinate system has been created in the center. Now what I can do is right click on my new coordinate system and go to create section plane. Keep in mind that the section plane for coordinate systems will occur on its XY plane. Once I create my section plane I can come in here and then view it. And now you can see that now my results are along the center of that bolt. Now again, if you're familiar with coordinate systems, you can do much more than simply applying it to geometry. Let's say for some reason I wanted to orient a section plane at 45 degrees to what it's currently at. I can again apply transformation to my coordinate system Let's say I wanted to do delta y, so I wanted to do 45 degrees around the y-axis. So now my coordinate system has changed. Again, I can come in here and click on create section plane. And now it's created that section plane for me. So as you can see, it's pretty useful for creating organized section planes. Again, you can create multiple ones like usual, combinations of such. But having the ability to use coordinate systems makes it a lot more organized and structured and you have full control over where and how you want to orient the section planes without worrying about your freehand drawing skills. We hope this video was useful and please subscribe to PADT as we will be doing more videos on tips and examples in ANSYS. If you have any questions, feel free to call PADT Inc. Otherwise, see you next time.